They're the latest craze stateside and they're about to hit the UK big time. Celebrities from Bjork to Boyzone have got one, as well as school children and city slickers. With two wheels, a top speed of 30 miles an hour and a price tag of £500, you don't have to win the lottery to buy one. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the Goped. If you took a normal skateboard, stuck a 22cc engine on it and some handlebars, this is what you get. There's only one hitch to this latest must-have though. Authorities can't work out if it's a bike, a car or a plaything. It's difficult to categorise them. We have no case law or, or stated cases to guide us. I use it for work because it's cheap and a good laugh. It's great for getting around the city. I like it because I don't have to pay for parking in the town centre. And it's nice and light too. Not as fast as my bike, but still a lot of fun. It's a wicked toy. We don't, don't want to stop anybody uh, enjoying their, their vehicles. All we want to do is to try and encourage them to use them as safely as they possibly can. But it seems the courts are as confused as the police about the exact status of this funky little vehicle. Well, as a mechanically propelled vehicle, it, uh, it comes under certain sections of the road traffic legislation, such as careless driving, parts of the drink drive law. Martin Jones, the first person in the country to lose his license for drink driving on a go-ped. After a few drinks up at a local pub in Old Town, uh, I left there on the go-ped and uh, got stopped by the police uh, where I was riding on the pavement. They breathalyzed me and took me down to the police station. I ended up going to court and getting a 16-month ban. But his ban was overturned by a judge who said Martin had been misled into thinking a go-ped wasn't a vehicle, although he didn't have tax or insurance. Well, um, since being banned, uh, I've decided to go out and buy one of these because I'm a little bit wary about using my old one on the road. This one's ideal for going out on open land and sort of driving on dirt tracks. So when will the authorities make up their minds about where the go-ped fits in? With every process of law, there's, there's always ongoing court cases which help us define exactly where the, uh, which category the vehicle fits into, and we'll be looking at those to give us pointers for the future. The most important thing to remember in all this, of course, is that go-peds are pretty cheap and are big, big fun. OK, so they are street legal. Well, they're not street legal. Well, nobody really knows, and I don't really care because they're such a funky way for getting about. <laughs> How do I stop?